Hey everyone, I'm having a relaxing evening at home and wanted to go through my makeup. This will be a makeup collection video, which is one of my favorite types of videos to watch. Here we have my entire makeup collection right here. And I do consider myself to be a minimalist when it comes to makeup, especially for someone who loves beauty, I love makeup, and I love makeup content. I do try to keep everything to this one container. This is one organizer this is one acrylic organizer. And I don't want to outgrow this. I'm pretty good about using my products and then either replacing them or finding something new. And fortunately, I still have some room in here as well. Before we get into it, I did want to share this one product because it's new and I was pretty disappointed with it. Not only do I not really like the formula, it's okay. It's not anything special, but the component broke within about a week of purchasing this item and for high-end makeup that is just unacceptable this is the only fail but I did want to share that one however my favorite mascara we'll start with mascara my favorite mascara is this one right here so the benefit bad girl bang it's a nice wet formula it's really dark so it gives great definition good length, a little bit of volume. I have not found a mascara that beats out this one. And the funny thing is that I keep trying. I keep trying to find the one that's going to be better than this one. And it never happens. It's really funny to me that with makeup, we're always looking for that better item, even when we have one that we totally love. It's kind of like relationships. Sometimes we need to just stick with the one we love and not keep trying to find something that's better so good reminder favorite mascara can't live without that one on more natural days I do like this one so the Lancome Lashy Doll this is for my basically no makeup makeup days so this just gives a little bit of definition to the eyelashes nice lift nice curl that's gonna be my go-to if I'm just going to the gym, doing a really light makeup day, but I want to wear something, which I typically will. I'll typically put on some mascara. And then lastly is a new mascara I just purchased. So the Tower 28. I got this because everyone was talking about it. Everyone was talking about how great it is. They were so surprised. I don't really... Boba. I don't really know what the hype is about this one other than it's new. So that's a great example where the oldie is better, but I want to try this one out. Again, it's okay, but just nothing special. I think it's a little clumpy. I think it flakes a little bit. I'll keep using it. Again, sometimes mascaras get better with age, so those are my three, three mascaras that I have. And that's definitely a good amount for me. Let's get into finishing powders. So I do have the Guerlain Meteorites. This is the level two. I wanted to try these out as a nice finishing powder and I do like them. I really enjoy them. It's a really subtle, beautiful glow to the skin without being glittery at all. Just that really soft finish. I'll use a big fluffy brush like this one, just dip it in, and use that at the end of my makeup as a finishing buffing powder. Not sure if I'm going to repurchase this one, it'll probably last me a really long time anyway. So I'm glad I picked that one up, but probably will not end up repurchasing. The Guerlain reminded me of the Hourglass, which I've had longer. And I love this, this powder. I was re-reminded of how much I love it and have been using it again. So you can see really pretty blushes here. I'm 
right there. So I want to use this one up and so that I can purchase the new Hourglass. I was looking at the Butterfly palette that was just released. So I do enjoy Hourglass. I've had them in the past and gone through a couple palettes. That one's a couple years old. As you can see, it's almost, almost done. Let's go to my one and only foundation. So this is the Chanel Le Beige in the Water Fresh Complexion Touch. And I love this foundation. It is the only foundation I like. I had the original, which I also really liked. And I like this one a little bit better, so I know it's a smaller amount, but you can actually use less product. And you can see there, it just melts into the skin, gives that a little bit of a tint, which is perfect for me. So again, you can't really see it on the skin. It just evens all the complexion just a bit and gives something for my powders to stick to. So I was just trying to use no foundation because I couldn't find anything that I liked but then the powder just it wouldn't last the powders wouldn't last and it's like what's what's the point so I do love my Chanel water fresh tint and the secret to this is to just use your fingers and that's how they recommend so I pump a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'll rub that in to my skin that way you're not wasting any products I still have the brushes that come with the Chanel foundation. So this one is the original. I use this one to buff buff in the foundation after I've applied it just a little bit if I need to. I also use these just to travel. So sometimes I actually use this to do my bronzer or my blush. So this I'll typically take these two little brushes with me in my makeup bag. This one I use for my concealer and this one I'll use for some blush and then lastly for complexion is my Dior backstage concealer I love this concealer I like all the Dior concealers that I've tried so this one right here and typically what I'll do is I'll spot conceal and go over some areas that need a little bit of coverage so a very minimum concealer as a base. You can see that just blends in absolutely perfectly. You can't even see it. Okay, it gives that little bit of coverage that I'm looking for. I do want to film a just everyday makeup look video. Something that looks really natural, really good in person. And my go-to look be on the lookout for that video I'll be filming that very soon all right let's keep going with the face and I have two bronzers this is the Natasha Denona this is actually a blush a lot of times I'll use blush as bronzer I don't know why but I just I like it I don't know why does anybody else like that they just like blush as bronzer. So this is a little duo I got on sale. It's a natural beige. And this is gorgeous. A nice kind of sun-kissed bronzer on my skin tone. I really love this formula. There's a little bit of a sheen in both of these products, which I really like. And I do like this as kind of a highlight. I'm going to really subtle, pretty, pretty highlight right there. Love this product. I was so happy when I got it. And these were on sale. I'm not sure. I think they're being discontinued. I will be sad when I use up that whole compact. I have another bronzer. I typically like to keep it to about two bronzers. I just finished up my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Again, might replace that one in a darker shade. I had the shade Fair. And I think I need something a little deeper. So this is the Kevin Aquan bronzer. Again, nice and very sun-kissed. 
These two I typically wear for summertime. This one has a nice ombre to it and some shimmer. You can get away with using this as more of a, I wouldn't say a highlight, but like a bronze topper on this side because it has more shimmer and then it gets deeper as you go on. Again, I got this one on sale about a year ago from Sephora and I just love, I love this bronzer too. So I love both of those. Not sure if this counts. I have this little Z palette that I like to, whenever there's kind of gifts with purchases or those offers that you can get and they'll have these are single Natasha Denona shadows and I go back and forth with Natasha Denona I really do I love her eyeshadows I really do get the hype I used to have all of her little mini palettes and I just I got rid of them. I just, I wasn't using them. I think the colors are a little bit too vibrant for me. Again, I do really natural, natural type eye looks. But I keep these. I really do like them. And want to try out some more Natasha Denona in the future. This is a Laguna. So this is NARS Laguna. Again, this was in, I think this was in just like a little mini. And I ended up popping it out and putting it in the C palette not really sure sure why but I think I wanted just to fill out the C palette a little bit more and I like these color tones together I'll use this as an eyeshadow as well so I think that's what I was thinking that's a really good if I'm doing a metallic look and I just want to put a bronzer in the crease then I'll use the Laguna bronzer I don't really like it too much as a bronzer on its own so that's why that one's in there next we have the NARS high profile cheek palette so this came out last year and I really do enjoy this one I know they came out with the new holiday one recently this was holiday last year so you can see it's a blush palette but again I use these two as bronzers and this is a very dense formula but very 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 smooth so I really enjoy that. See there? So use those two as bronzers. I love using these as eyeshadows. So this palette, I will use this whole palette as the only makeup products on my face as far as color, color products. I will use the blushes and then these two as a bronzer and then this as eyeshadow with whatever I use on my face. I'll also use that as eyeshadow and come up with the best looks. I love this as an all around full face palette for me including the eyeshadow just absolutely stunning I get the prettiest prettiest looks with those I love my NARS cheek palette I'm not going to get the new one I like these colors a little bit better and I'm going to stick with this one I love when new products come out every year and then you're just reminded of how good yours is that you bought before like yes I have that and I love it two more face products and that's it I fell in love with the Valentino brushes I've really been enjoying Valentino makeup I feel like not enough people really talk about Valentino makeup I know it's expensive but it's so pretty and same thing these are eye to cheek so you can use these as blushes and eyeshadows, which I will do. Again, a lot of times I'll throw that bronzer in the crease. Use this as the eyeshadow and the blush. So two beautiful, beautiful colors. Look how those swatched. So the lighter one is number nine. And number four. Okay, next we have eyeshadows. So let's stick with Valentino. Another product I feel like is not talked about enough. This is the Valentino, what are you called? Color Flip. I hope they come out with more of these. I love this eyeshadow. I wear it almost every single day. 
beautiful natural looks, a little bit of shimmer. You can get so many looks with this. You get your black, a little more cool tone, a frosty kind of light, light beige shimmer, your gold, beautiful neutral. These are so good. You can see a little shimmer there. Look at the gold. Gold, beautiful gold. And these are just so done. Just absolutely stunning. The pink there. Kind of looks like the blush. So, so happy I picked this one up. Again, not too many people were talking about it. I remember Tati said something about how she felt like it was underrated. I was like, you know what? Let me check that one out. Really happy I did. It is great for a go to. Go to eyeshadow and really, I mean, it's $90, but you're getting eight shades of luxury makeup. Whereas in Tom Ford, you're paying about the same amount and you're only getting four. In my mind, the Valentino is a much better, much better value. I do love my Tom Ford, though, again, completely different finishes. So I have three Tom Ford. I have had a lot more in the past. I've narrowed it down to these three. So I have double indemnity. Super Nouveau. Okay, I use this one quite a bit. And White Suede. I do like to try to get these on sale, either a Nordstrom sale, the Cosmetic Beauty Company. They have really good Tom Ford at a discount when you go check those out. So this is a White Suede. Again, a really nice everyday palette. I love this as a topper. It's so shimmery. Love that one. Again, this one's really pretty too. You can get a lot of different looks. That's why I like this one is you get a lot of different colors in this, this eyeshadow quad. I love the Tom Ford eyeshadows. I think they're so beautiful. And this is my date night smoky. Smoky. So this one is my nighttime. Everything else I really will wear during the day, but this is my nighttime going out, wanting to look smoky and sultry. That is the one. So the Tom Ford Double Indemnity. Really beautiful. Let's watch that one real quick. And there's Tom Ford Swatched. Really sultry, beautiful quality. You cannot beat Tom Ford when you find the right, the right palette. I cannot even remember all the ones I've had in the past, but these are the three that I've kept just because they're really beautiful on my skin tone and I get a lot of use out of them too. I have another little Natasha Denona single right here. I do like that one. That's a great one and done shade. That's typically how I use that one. And then a little more Tom Ford. So I have two cream eyeshadows. This is platinum. And this one I need to repurchase. This is old. And you can see it's almost done. So this one I will repurchase. Beautiful one and done shade. I absolutely love this. Every time I use it, I just am reminded about how great this specific this platinum color is i've tried a couple of the other ones and nothing beats that platinum that kind of taupey just gorgeous and then this one's really fun so this is the black sand and it has this really great black cream eyeshadow this would be a really good liner let's see if it sets down and it's got that gold, that gold reflect in it. So I will use these for dramatic nighttime looks. I will use that black, smoke it out in the corner. Great black to work with. It just blends really well. I'm really happy I picked up this product. And then this pretty gold. And not really unique, but beautiful gold. All right there. 
So this is a fun one. I am glad I have it. Thought about getting rid of it a couple times, but I'm glad. I'm glad I kept it. And then lastly for eyeshadow, I do have two Pat McGrath Labs IXDC Sublime. These are the only Pat McGrath Lab shadows I've had, and I use these for honestly, I use these for Halloween for like costumes. So either if I'm really if I'm going out out to the club I will grab these because you just again the finishes are look at that I mean just amazing I should use these more even in the daytime you can see that there this is a great way I know they don't make these anymore this was a great way for me to try the Pat McGrath formula I do get the hype I keep wanting to buy a mothership palette but I never haven't done it yet. Haven't bit the bullet yet, as they say. I will though. I will eventually. Just need to find the right one. And then this one is my fun, colorful makeup palette. This is the only real colorful makeup I have. I do use this a lot for Halloween. This is the subversive. So gorgeous colors. We need like a purple, a blue. These are getting a little old, but look at that blue. Look at that blue. Stunning. Stunning gold. Really great. These you actually can use more for the daytime. I need to get brave and use these during the day. Get some more use out of those. They're getting old. I can't keep them forever. That's it for eyeshadow. Last thing we have is lips. And this is kind of what I wanted to go through. So I have three lip liners. Pat McGrath Labs and a red. Blood Lust. Have to have a red lip liner if you're gonna wear a red lipstick. So that's my one red. I just got this MAC in Spice. Really pretty. Right there. And then, so that's my nude. This is the Pat McGrath in bare rose a little more pinky that's really all i need for liner so i have a nude a pinky nude and a red i do not need any more eyeliner than those three i'm set with those and these are my favorite glosses right here it's the buxom gloss i got a little set last year that's typically what i'll do is get one set a year i don't want to keep lip gloss for more than a year so it will get replaced Beautiful, beautiful gloss. Samantha. Brandy. Darker. Sandy. Dolly. And Dylan. So those are my glosses. Favorite lip gloss just makes the lips look so plump and juicy. You can see I'm about halfway done with all of those. Pretty good for a year. And then I'll have to purchase a new set. The set I bought also, I think, it was the Queen. The set also came with the plump shot. It's a clear, clear lip gloss. And new purchase are these tart. I got a set, the holiday set of these tart. Came with, two, I think, a lipstick, a juicy lip, and a lip plump. So, a couple different formulas. I love this. I'm so happy I purchased it. I'll try to swatch these. These look so good. On the lips, especially the the juicy lip. I really like that one. That one's my favorite. This lipstick is a little bit dry for me. I do like the color. I like all the colors. That's why I purchased purchased this. I went ahead because I can use every single color. And there's a fourth one. I think it's in my office, so I don't have it. 
But you can see there, those are the colors, just beautiful pinky nudes, different formulas. So happy I picked these up. They smell really good. I love these. And then lastly, we have the lipstick. So I have a Dior lip gloss, a lip oil. I wanted to try out a bunch of the different Dior formulas. I do love Dior makeup. These are nice. These were really good for summertime. I probably will not repurchase these because they're just a gloss and really nothing that special to be honest, but just a really nice gloss and really great for summertime. I'll we'll have to use those up. I'm going to try not to go crazy with the lip products because you do want to use them up pretty quickly. These are the type of product you don't want to just keep. So lip products, uh, mascaras, you do want to use up any type of cream products obviously. And then lastly, lipstick. So this is my one Dior Matte lipstick that I purchased. So this one is in the Forever. Is that the name of it? I think it's Forever. I do like this. These have been getting a lot of hype lately. They're they're good matte lipstick. Can't complain. And then this is the Dior Addict Lip Addict in bandana. It's another really nice formula. I love the Dior lip formulas. They are some of the best. So that one's a really pretty nude right there. And I'll grab these, wear these pretty much on a daily basis. Quick go-to. And then these came in a holiday set last year. So I haven't worn these too much. I like to keep a few reds, so I'll swatch these so you can see. This one is a red in white poppy velvet. So this is the velvet formula. Really pretty, nice blue based red. I do like that. I got this really great holiday set. So come December, these have to go. My daughter got into this one, that's why it looks like that. That one definitely needs to go soon. Luckily, she she was able to use it. Red Pansy. This is a matte. And then lastly, this is a beautiful shade. This is a metallic. So this one is in Sparkling Peony in the metallic. So this set had different finishes. Fun way to try out a bunch of different Dior lip products. And then you can see those three swatched right there. It's all really pretty, kind of more on the fuchsia. I like to have a blue-based red or a true red. And lastly, I have my one YSL lipstick. Beautiful. So that one's actually red. Now that I can see compared to the other ones, they're more fuchsia. This is my red. So I always like to have my one red lipstick. And then a couple other fun colors, but again, you don't want to have, in my opinion, you don't want to have a lot of different reds, a lot of different of the same shade because, again, you want to use up a lipstick. I want to have one red that's my go-to red because I'm not going to wear it that often. So there we have it. That's my entire makeup collection right there. I hope you enjoyed going through all of my products with me. Now I'm going to clean everything up. I do have some brushes over here. So my face brushes. I have my one IT Cosmetics fluffy brush. Some Marc Jacobs. That's another IT Cosmetics. So this one I'll use for my buffing. My Marc Jacobs foundation brush. I haven't had to use it too much because I've been using my fingers with that Chanel. But I still want to have it just the buff in my foundation. I had a little Chikahoto set. This is my go-to bronzer brush. This is my highlight brush. 
Love that little set. And it also came with a really pretty eyeshadow brush. I don't really use this one too often. It would also be good for highlight as well. And that's some Sonia G. So I got the Sonia G, the little mini set. It's the mini. Was this the Fusion? It wasn't the Fusion. It was just the mini. I cannot remember the name. This is the mini base. I use this one for my denser blushes. So those NARS blushes, I'll use this one. The eye brushes that came in that set. So that's my nice little definer brush. And then lastly, just a couple more. I do have a Wayne Goss. Nice fluffy shadow brush. So use that one to buff in a, a nice light cover color all over the all over the eyelid. I'm getting sleepy. Crease brush from Marc Jacobs. Nice to get in to find the crease. Another Marc Jacobs. This is what I'll use for the, the Tom Ford cream shadows. I'll go in with this flat kind of paddle brush. Get in there all over the lid. Again, I don't need too many brushes. I have a few shapes that I need that work. A variety of shapes. Not too much redundancy. And then my one liner brush. I'll use this one for powder or cream. Eyeshadow is liner. I don't use a I don't use an eyeliner. I like to use either a cream or a powder just to get that softer look. The one thing I need is an eyebrow spoolie. I need to get that. Again, I need to work on my eyebrow products. So that's that's what we're gonna look at. I have a couple things, a couple other items I'm looking at as well. So again, I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good night and take care.